Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I have a question that uh, I need an answer for, and an answer that could not be attained, at least in normal means, by doing a, a quick search on Google, I'll often throw the question out to my network of friends. I'll probably use ping dot fm so that it gets posted to twitter friend feed facebook myspace i mean the list kind of goes on and on and on it's a great way of uh, getting feedback from people who know me and i appreciate uh, the answers from people who do know me because they have a context to the question most likely or would you know give me a, a pretty straight answer because we have that connection but some of you out there may use other answering services like yahoo answers and scott campbell also known as scotty g in the chat room at live.perillo.com decided to pass along a top 10 list of uh really uh, the way to get an answer to a question on yahoo answers and uh, this uh, this set of tips may actually be useful anytime you want to ask a question uh, through your social network or you know asking a, a question in general. Number one, it may sound strange, but do not make the title too descriptive. If the title is too descriptive, many people will not even open the question to take a look at it. Almost all of my most answered questions have titles which are not overly descriptive. Could be true because uh, you know you're asking a very specific question and if someone sees a keyword in there that disqualifies their potential answer well they're not gonna look and then you're not going to get any kind of answer two spelling goes a long way it is much easier to read a correctly spelled question than one with spelling and grammatical errors it's absolutely true in fact I've seen a lot of really good emails come across my inbox uh, but I delete them uh, because I just can't read them or the spelling errors are just all over the place and honestly We've gotten to the point where if you're not spell checking your emails and you're requesting information from me, uh, you're lazy. And that means I don't need to spend the time or give you any more attention than uh, you've taken from me already. Number three, do not include huge chunks of conversation in your question. Keep it informative, but informal. Four, I recommend using bullet points and a summary of the question. This is an easy to read format. That's why I like bullet points. Number five, look for answers with good sources. Remember, Wikipedia can be edited by anyone, so it's not always true. It's truthful. Truthy. Truthiness? Truthful? There isn't always a black and white construct surrounding any question or answer. That's the thing that we're trying to say. Number six, do not use the add details option to have a chat with answerers. Many questions end up with a flood of added details. Number seven, don't put a quick 10 points in the question or the title. If you do this, you'll get a lot of short, rushed comments rather than longer, detailed answers. Number eight, do not post the same post many times in a short period of time. The Yahoo community will ignore your question if you do this. It's important. You got to lurk in the community before you engage them. Number nine, do not put title says it all in the question. Questions can seem quite ambiguous on the internet, so further details will be needed. Number 10, as soon as you have the answer, pick the best answer. Did you see the light go out above me? I think I just blew a bulb here. Did it get dark here? Okay, anyway. <clears throat> as soon as you have the answer, pick the best answer straight away. If you are... I'm a little worried that other things in my office are going to start going out, so I better wrap this up. <laughs> Pick the best answer straight away. If you're a courteous user, your questions will be answered much faster. Please take a look at this list. I hope you'll use it in a video. Email me back and let me know what you think. Well, Scott Campbell or Scotty G, as he's known in the chat room, I really appreciate it. My email address is chris at perilla.com. And you're certainly welcome to email me so long as you have the right answers for everybody else here in the community uh, at live.perillo.com. We're typically talking tech, hardware, software, tips, tricks. You never really know what we're going to be talking about. You're pretty welcome to swing on by. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, streaming this live video out in conjunction with the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.